Hello everybody. Today we're gonna look at the gold weapons that I'm sure you heard about that spawn uh, all over Vondel. I did find 12 of them and I will show you in this video all 12 locations and I will point out what you'll need to be able to get to those guns. Keep in mind that uh, not all 12 guns spawn every single game. So there may be times where you enter a location and the gold gun is not there. Don't worry, it has been verified that it does spawn there. It's just kind of a 50-50 if, uh, if you'll be able to find it or not. Also, many players are going for those guns because they are five attachments. They're essentially built like meta guns, so they're very viable. Okay, so let's get started and look at all the unlocked locations that do not require a key to enter. The first location is at University, located right here where the red arrow is pointing on the top floor you'll find some bookshelves and right on top of one, if you jump on a chair or something, you can see it. There is a gold tech 56. The next location is a central station and located right here where the arrow points, you'll find a newsstand. To access the roof of it, just go up the stairs you'll find on your left if you enter from the front entrance of Central Station. Then jump on the railing and jump onto the roof of the newsstand to find a gold Victus XMR. The next location is a castle and if you approach from the south side of the castle, You'll turn into the first door on your right, then next door on your right, and you'll find the FJX Imperium sitting on a chair. The next location is at Police Station, located right here. Yeah, you can enter from any of the uh, building doors, but the easiest way is to come in through the van that crashed through the wall, take a left, and then locate the stairs to go to the next floor, walk through the wooden doors and you'll see two cells, one right here, and in the second one, you'll find a KV broadside. This location will require you to use a rebreather and you can always find one in a sunken house right here. Unlike the ones from the buy stations that only have one use, um, this one has full use, so um, I try to get this one every time I want to go for the golden gun that, um, that requires you to go through underwater tunnels. The next location is the one that requires the rebreather, and it's right here in an unnamed location. Um, you'll locate this tunnel, and you want to equip your rebreather because you'll need it. Usually one shot will do, but it's always good to have a full one. You'll take a left, and then you just swim until you get to the next uh, crossroad right here. You'll need to use your rebreather at this point. Then uh, take a right, a left, take a right again, another left, and just keep swimming till you find the ladder. Climb up, there will be another ladder to your right. It's right here. Climb up and you'll be into a room that has a lot of loot. And in the kitchen area, you'll find the M13B. Once you've picked up the gold M13B and looted all the orange crates in the, in the room, you can actually exit through the, uh, through the door. Uh, it's a, the jammed locked door that you can't access from outside, but once you're inside the room, you can uh, unlock it to, to get out. For the next location, uh, located at Market, you will need a regular Stronghold key card, and you'll need to fight your way to the upstairs pool table, where you'll find a Signal 50. Uh, basically hanging with the pull cues, so it blends in pretty good. 
The next location is a locked location, so you'll need the key, and it's at fire station. If you go in from the boat dock side, um, you know, the water side, and access the building through this door, you can just go up the stairs, clear out some AIs, um, or quite a few AIs, and then uh, you want to take a right to this passage right here go across and you'll find another set of stairs to make it to the top floor once on the top floor locate the pool table and you'll find a gold iso hamlock laying on the pool table the next gold gun is located in a museum about right here and uh, you'll need a key to access uh, this building also and if you approach it from uh, from the front side, essentially from the exhibit side, um, you can unlock this door right here. Go in and you'll see a set of stairs. Uh, clear out the AIs, but make your way up the stairs once cleared. There might be some more AI upstairs and then hanging right here you'll find a rap H. the next gold gun is located at a stadium about right here where the, right, the arrow is pointing if you you can enter stadium from any door that you prefer but you will need a key to access this area and you can make it to the and right here where the couches are and behind one of the couches you'll find a raw mg just laying here against the couch the next location is a cruise terminal and located about here at the end of a long hallway on the second floor you'll find the next gold gun i usually approach from uh, this door right here for a simple reason, there are AIs, uh, or a lot of AIs in all the large locations, but uh, coming through this door, I have the stairs to go upstairs right next to me. I usually clear the building as much as I can, and then start making my way uh, to the hallway. Also, there is orange crates uh, in all the locked locations, so there is a lot of loot if you're trying to regain. But uh, down this way, here's the long hallway that I was talking about. And uh, right next to this zoo poster, there is a Seiken MG48. The next location took a while to figure out. It's in a locked location at City Hall. And about right there where the right arrow was pointing in the building, you'll find a gold Lackman sub. The, the weapon is hidden so well that unless you are looking for it and you know exactly where to look for it it's uh, pretty easy to miss it once you get into the building on the bottom floor just make your way to the uh, little offices and I hate riot shielders with a passion um, you make to the offices and here is the Lackman sub in a little cubby next to the wall like i said if you're just running through it's very easy to miss this one the last location is uh an exhibit and you'll need a key to access this one if you use door b you can just go straight across to this painting and uh yes there is a glass that you need to shoot to break in order to be able to pick up the gun so just take a few shots to break the glass and you'll be able to pick up the gold basilisk that it's uh hanging on the painting and that is our 12th gun um 12th gold gun that we found uh so far in bondle Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you find other guns that I missed, please uh, leave a comment and let the community know where uh, what other guns are. 
Um, nobody knows for sure how many gold guns actually do spawn or are available um, in the bundle map. Um, like I said, so far, uh, there are 12 confirmed ones, uh, but uh, there may be more. I will definitely keep looking, and if I find more, I will update the video, or I will just uh, make a short of the new locations. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and uh, come check out uh, my Discord server. The link is in the description.